I have to drive from Kota Baru to Guangdong for uh, three hours and then travel off road, uh, renting a pickup truck or riding a bike for about three to six hours to reach the school through the jungle. The time depends on the weather and the road condition. That is the commitment shown by Muhammad Faiz Muhammad Shakri each time he travels to Sekolah Kebangsaan Bala in Gua Musang Kelantan to teach orang asli children. With nine years of teaching experience under his belt, the 32-year-old admitted it wasn't easy at first when he started his job at the school. Back in 2019, when I first transferred there, I felt like I was burdened with the responsibility because I came from two different schools of different backgrounds and uh, different kids. Now I have to work with orang asli learners. It's a whole new world for me. It's a new challenge for me because it's not as easy as I thought it would be. So um, when I had to go into the classroom, the first thing that I would like to do is to actually to connect with the children, to build relationship with the children. Because I think that is the most powerful classroom management techniques that uh, over the years, if there is anything I've learned over the years of teaching, being in the classroom, the relationship with the kids are very important. The Kota Baru born teacher was also inspired by the Orang Asli children and created Project Kindness, an alternative classroom initiative to help the students feel safe and comfortable at school. Project Kindness was it started. I was inspired by the kids. I think the inspiration came from the kids because when I went there in early 2019, I felt like there is a need for me to discover something, to discover something that would actually help the kids. So one day I took them out because I felt like they are they're being confined in the classroom. They're not interested with whatever I'm doing in the classroom. I was actually singing with them. I, I'm not a good singer. I, I sang with them, but they're not, they're not interested with whatever I'm trying to do. So what I was trying to do back then, I was trying to make them feel comfortable, to feel like the school is a safe space. <laughs> Muhammad Faiz, who teaches English, added that treating his students like family was what set him apart from other teachers. What is your name? Yeah, I treated the kids like family. I think it's, it's the sacrificial love that I have for the kids. I didn't think of the kids as strangers. I didn't think of the kids as orang asli learners. I don't think of them as you know, other people's children. I, I always call them my kids, my children. And it's the love for the children, love for the subject, love for being there are the things that make me different. However, he said the school is in need of more educational resources to help make learning more fun and interesting for the children. We have a computer lab actually, but the computer lab is basically is just there for display. We don't even we have computers, but none of them are working. We have a library. We don't have a science lab. Yeah, basically it's just a basic school that does look like a school, but uh, in terms of resources, we still need more. As for his future plans following the success of Project Kindness, Muhammad Faiz said he plans to teach the Orang Asli learners life skills using hydroponic kits. I was thinking of project-based learning because uh, my headmaster managed to get this uh, hydroponic system set, two sets actually. I'm planning to teach them how to grow vegetables and sell them. I want to teach them some life skills and the hydroponic project, I think that it would be a perfect opportunity for me, you know, to involve the kids, to teach them about life and stuff, and to, you know, to get them engaged in learning. I don't want just to be there to teach them the language. I want to be able to teach them how to live. I want to teach them how to, you know, how to live their life, how to lift them up.